two-hour flight. Good timing. All right, it is a 40-minute drive into Baku, capital of Azerbaijan. Time to figure out how to do it. Taxi or a bus. Got to get some cash. Looks like ATM over here. Let's give it a try. Yep. And there we go. 500 Azerbaijani Manat, it is called. This equals $294 US. All right. Where's an info desk? Right here. Hello. Are there buses into Baku? Or... Okay, thank you. Outside. That was very general. Okay. Looks like maybe right there. All right, all right, all right. Change in the weather from Kuwait, and I am so happy for it. I am over the heat. Taxi, taxi. Uh, no, thank you. What Let's then? see. How about you? I'm good. I'll see you one minute. Baku? Uh, yeah. No driver yet, so. Yes. Oh, it's ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Driver, this go. The driver back. there coming back? Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan, okay, good, good. You live here? No, no, no. Visit? I am visit. visiting. Visiting, yeah. Visit, same. Visit. Yeah, cool. You're a Christian, I see. I'm Pervez Anthony. You're what? Pervez Anthony. My name is Pervez Anthony. Anthony? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But you were born in Pakistan. I'll Always you live in Pakistan? Yeah, I live in Pakistan. Yeah, okay. I'm coming here only visitors. Okay. Tourists? Tourists. Tourists, okay. For how long? One week, two week? Maybe after two days and three days. Two or three days, okay. It's a yeah. short flight, flight? Yeah. Four, two days, three days. I'm going to uh, Kyrgyzstan. Oh, and then to Kyrgyzstan, okay. Good. How long is the flight? Flight from uh, Pakistan to here? PIA. P PIA. Uh, PIA flight. That's the uh, uh, airline? PIA yeah, 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 right. And how long? One hour, two hour, three hour? Uh, four hour. Four hour. Uh, 20 minutes. Four hour, 20 minutes, okay. The bus driver is here. Here? Yep. <sighs> I'm just so stoked to be here. Somewhere totally different. Change in the weather, change in the landscapes. Azerbaijan is Turkic, as in Turkish. I'm off to a slight disaster. I'll explain what happened. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I didn't know it didn't give change. I know it's it's for in in Baku in the city. Yeah. Okay. I guess you can't get refund or something. What is it for? Yeah, other buses or only traveling in Azerbaijan. Yes, all over. Museum. Hmm. Only metro and bus. I see. Okay, thanks. Cool looking taxis there. So, what happened is that uh, when I was 
was talking with the Pakistani guy and uh, I asked him if I get the ticket on the bus and he said yes and then when the uh, bus driver showed up then he let me on the bus without asking for a ticket and so that seemed to confirm that I would be getting the ticket on the bus but then I was uh, sitting there and luckily the uh, bus driver mentioned this to me but he says you have to uh, go to that uh, yellow kiosk thing, computer terminal, to uh, get the ticket. So I uh, run over there and I'm trying to figure it out. Fortunately, there is a button for English. And then it is saying, buy this card. And I try to do uh, my credit card. It says like two uh, of the Manat, the local currency. But that might have been just to buy the card. You know, it's confusing. This is all new to me. And then my uh, credit card wasn't working to do that. And so there was a slot for cash. So I pull out my cash that I just got, but I have only 100 Azerbaijani manat. And so I uh, put that in thinking that I'm going to get 98 back and like I'm paying two and then it takes it and gives me the card and no change. And so it turns out I put a hundred Azerbaijan manat on there, which is like, I forget, let's see, like 75 bucks or something. And so I now have a card with a whole lot of money on it that can only be used for the Metro. Well, now it's down to uh, like 96, but anyways, let's see what 100 is. Okay, so 60 bucks US, that's better at least. So uh, yeah, I guess I need to take a lot of metro rides around Baku. I'm here for a week. I'm using my phone as a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot to get internet connection here. Off we go. Gonna be about like 45 minutes or something into Baku. Got a hotel reserved for the next four nights. Looks like this is the end of the line. Got a little ways to go. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's like three and a half kilometers to my hotel, so uh, time to find a taxi. Okay, great, thank you. Five miles? Okay. Central Park Hotel. Central Park Hotel. Central Park Hotel. Central Hotel. Central Hotel. Central Hotel, Central Central Hotel Baku. Street. Ah, I know. No trouble. Yeah. Okay. No, some of them. Yeah, it's okay. Um, uh, uh, no, you're traffic. Ten man. Ten man. Traffic. Ten. Uh, ten. Uh, ten. Madam, or uh, yeah, okay. Ten manat. I see. Okay. Central Hotel Baku. Yes, yes. One minute. Okay. No problem. Shak shak. Name hotel. Okay. Pishy, pishy. English. No problem. Pishy. The name is Central Hotel Baku. Uh huh. Pishy, uh, English, no yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah, like this? Uh-huh. No, 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 no. Right. No? It is definitely time to get a pair of shoes. I've been traveling with just the sandals for uh, the whole past five months. 
So, a bit of confusion with the uh, taxi driver there because he didn't have any change. I only had the 100 manam, I think it's called, note. Finally, we uh, found a place to get some change. The traffic is really bad and uh, getting into the uh, like old city center where I'm staying, basically it was quicker to walk from where I am at this point. The uh, location of the hotel was very highly rated. Wow, we got an interesting uh, looking building there. I guess the hotel is like right in the old town, so that will be cool. But uh, man, it is chilly. And I'm smelling some incense right now that is just amazing. It is so awesome to finally be somewhere that is just totally unfamiliar to me. Although, it is just a little bit familiar because it really has that uh, Turkish feeling to it in some ways. The language and just the uh, general atmosphere, but landscape-wise, it's uh, quite different and certainly in other ways as well, but uh, I got a lot to learn about this country. So I know you can't see much, but uh, there is an absolutely bizarre looking building there, old one, and then a fancy looking hotel. I think that this is where I will uh, get away from the big boulevard here and into the old town. Hopefully Google Maps is actually going to get me there because there were several different center hotels and central this and central city and like different ones with center in it. So uh, we'll see in a second but uh, this scene is really amazing. Looking forward to seeing it in the daylight tomorrow. But uh, man, I'm gonna have to uh, really alter my wardrobe, get some warmer clothes. It was windy like this out at the airport as well, and they mentioned it on the plane that it was gonna be an issue landing. And when we were coming in, and uh, the plane was really rocking around just before landing, so, uh, yeah, windy weather. Sultan Inn. This is looking like a really cool neighborhood. So, uh, we got some old ruins here. Either, uh, Greek or Ottoman. Yeah, you can't really see anything in the, uh, video, but, uh, they're pretty cool looking. All right, no point in filming anymore here at this point. Let's get to the room. And we are in a nice little room. Emphasis on little, but uh, it is very cozy, nice and warm after being in the cold wind there. So uh, I have a little bit of a uh, cold from the AC in uh, Kuwait City there. I got sick like two nights ago, woke up with the scratchy throat and everything. So uh, not a bad cold at least, but uh, still kind of got the uh, stuffy nose going. But uh, anyways, this uh, room is less than the price of a hostel in London. 39 euros, 41 dollars US. Good to see the prices coming down, especially for what is quite a nice hotel. I mean, the room is a little small, but uh, looks like good, soft, perfect, comfy mattress there. And the entrance and everything in the reception area is really nice here. Maybe they have some fancier, larger rooms here. 
And then also just the location is amazing. The walk getting here was just really, really interesting. Can't wait to see it in the morning. But uh, I am starving. So uh, let's get out of here and go check out one of those cool looking restaurants that I passed. So fortunately I have this awesome jacket, nice and warm. And so I actually don't have to get a whole lot of stuff. Hello? Okay, so we got a restaurant right here. I really liked some of the old town restaurants that I walked past. Man, that wind is bitter. It's not even that cold, not sure exactly, but uh, compared to uh, Kuwait, it is uh, definitely chilly, but uh, today is October 11th, so right in the middle of fall. It is gonna get a lot colder around here. They must have pretty cold winters. So uh, yeah, I just need to get like some shoes and maybe a scarf. And depending on how long I'm gonna stay up in this part of the world, then uh, maybe some long underwear. I think I have gloves. I travel with a few things. Gloves, I might have a scarf. Maybe not. But uh, I try to travel with some of the cold weather items that uh, will make it easier when I arrive rather than having to do a whole bunch of shopping. So, you know, gloves don't take up much room. If I know that I'm just going to a tropical island or whatever, then I wouldn't carry that. But uh, if my travel plans are going to be in various climates, then uh, I stuff a few items in there that might come in handy, and they are definitely gonna come in handy up here. So we have uh, the old city wall. I'm gonna guess probably Ottoman era. So uh, I wanted to explain again the uh, thing that happened with the card there in case you couldn't hear me properly or whatever in the bus, but uh, really quickly wanted to go over it again. So what happened is to get the uh, bus ticket I had to go to this machine and then I was under time pressure because the uh, bus was leaving any minute. And so I get to the machine and I'm trying to figure it out. It had English language, fortunately, but it was still kind of confusing. And then for some reason my card didn't work. And then I only had the hundred... What is it called again? Manam, I think? Notes. And so I stuffed that in there thinking that I would get some change back. And it just put the whole thing on the card. So. Now I have a lot of credit for the Baku transportation system. This old town is just spectacular. Let's see, is that time correct? I think so, like 10 minutes to nine. Sounds about right. I wonder how the business is at this time of the night on a cold, windy evening playing street music. Okay, so this is what I was thinking about. Yeah, this place looks awesome. Tea house. Let's give it a try. Okay, well, unfortunately, this is not a restaurant. 
it is just a tea house shisha experience, I guess, which sounds kind of interesting as well. But uh, back to the drawing board. What about Sultan Inn, hotel and restaurants? Something with a terrace. Looks like these places are going to be expensive. But, uh, could be fun. Terrace and restaurants. At this point, I just want to get somewhere and take a seat before everything closes. We're back at that big, weird-looking building. Yeah. Where? Here or? More from the building. Okay. There's live music in the terrace. That's good. Okay, yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Starting off with a nice glass of semi sweet red wine. So, as I said, about these restaurants being expensive. Looks like that is the case, especially for Azerbaijan, but uh, what the heck, might as well splurge a little bit. Let's go with uh, National Courses, one of those. Beef pomegranate stir fry. We got some live accordion music and birds chirping there. Parakeets, I guess. Very cool place here. Thank you very much. Looks good. Thank you. Okay. That is piping hot. Looks very, very good. Might need to get another dish. A side dish or something. We'll see. So they brought some bread and it's quite a lot, so that is probably going to do the trick there. I just asked for some olive oil. We'll see if he understood me correctly there. And we got olive oil. Fun fact, olive in Azerbaijani language is Zaytun. This is going to do the trick. Oh yeah. So that was a good meal and great atmosphere there. And the late night street musician is still playing, fiddling away.
lots more coming from Azerbaijan. Good night.